So in long distance sports, there's two things that I absolutely hate. There's heat, right? I hate heat, and I hate hills. Those are the two things, those are my bugaboos. And what I need to do is get more comfortable with those elements. So my wife introduced me to this thing called a hot suit. And uh, I just went and tried it out. Uh, went for a five mile run, nice and slow and easy. And I just got back and I am like dripping sweat. And remember, I run all the time. So 65 degrees in five miles shouldn't make me soaked in sweat. But look at this. Can't get this thing off. Oh. Come here a little closer. Can you see? Look at that. I am soaked. You could wring this thing out, I bet. Look at that. I am absolutely drenched from head to toe. So I think I'm going to start using this as a training mechanism for getting used to running in the heat. So that was an easy six and a half miles out. And now we're gonna head on back. The wind was going against me the whole way, so I think I was averaging about 15 miles per hour, so pretty slow. I think once I get around this corner, the wind will be on my side, which is great because I've still got a run to do. Let's go run. So that was a nice four mile run. I actually took off in the first half mile. I kept looking down and it was 725, 730. So I was trying to slow down. And when I got to a mile, I was actually at 731 pace. At the end of the run, it was four miles and I did it in a uh, 7.40 pace. So way faster than I thought and it actually felt pretty good. So now to one of the realities of this blog is, uh, you know, I have a full-time job and I'm a father and a husband and I have chores to do. So it's also time to mow the lawn, right? Yeah, mow the lawn. If you want to be successful in life, you got to surround yourself with people that push you. Luckily, I've done that. I've got a buddy that just went and uh, killed himself for a workout and sent me a message with uh, all the details. And I said, all right, now it's my turn. That's one mile warm up. I'm now at the track. And uh, this, is, this is the hard part. This is where you uh, get better in your training. Every week you need to make sure you're getting in a hard workout. And believe me, it's hard to get up for those days and you're gonna fail some of those days, but you gotta challenge yourself. Today, uh, the goal is going to be three two mile repeats. I'm gonna try and average a 640 pace. So that would be a 1320 for two miles times three. So let's get this over with, let's go.
workout today. Not only am I starving, but uh, I noticed my hair looks like shit. So we're here at uh, my favorite barber shop to get that fixed. Workout done, haircut complete, and now for the most important part of the day, lunch. I am absolutely starving. Feed this lion. Mm. Okay, here, hold on to this part. Give me a big cheesy. Cheesy, buddy. So I'm at the very end of a 2,500 yard workout and just for shits and giggles, I'm gonna do a 100 for time. I'll go ahead and put a clock down at the bottom so you can follow with me. Let's go. In addition to training for an Ironman, we are also in the process of buying a new house, which we just got an accepted offer on. In addition, we're also planning a trip to Vegas here in a couple months. So things have been very busy. Uh, I got home today with the intention to go for a long bike ride, but uh, with a bunch of things we have going around the house and my daughter having dance practice tonight, uh, I decided to just go for a quick run so I can shower, go to practice, and then tonight we're going to book a few of our uh, excursions or events that we're going to do while we're in Vegas. So something I like to do is when I haven't shaved in like a week, I'll leave the mustache part and uh, just to kind of test my wife because she generally hates it. And I kind of keep hoping if I kind of keep doing it, she'll get used to it and eventually she'll like it enough where I can keep it. So we'll, we'll test that theory tonight. A, a beard? Is that what you think this is? Yes. No, a mustache. Yeah, a mustache. What do you think mommy's going to think about it? I don't think she'll like it. What does mommy think? About what? Your face? Yeah. All right, so what we're doing right now is booking out all of our uh, Vegas excursions and shows. So I don't really know where we're going or what we're doing exactly, so I'm gonna have my wife, Kimberly give us a little bit of a rundown. So what is the plan right now? Well, so far we're staying six nights. We're gonna do three at MGM and three at Flamingo. Um, so far I've booked us for a cabana day at the pool at MGM because I know how much you like that pool there. What shows are we going to? Jabberwockies. We've got that booked. We have Carrot Top and we're going to go see Brad Garrett's comedy club. Okay, so we're there for six nights. Are yes. we going to do anything else? Well, we're going to do another pool day at the Flamingo once we get there. We're going to eat a lot. We've got lots of restaurants planned. And then... I think that's it as far as shows. Anything there might else? be one on Fremont. I'm looking into one on Fremont. Anything else? Um, yeah, you should probably go shave if you think you're getting any. 